Is it worth it? This is the EF EOS R adapter with the extra ring for adjustment. Hi, welcome to my next quick video. We're going to take a look at the EF EOS R adapter, which makes regular EF and Canon EFS lenses adaptable to the Canon R mirrorless cameras. There are three versions of this adapter. I couldn't decide whether I should get the adapter with or without the control ring. It's not worth the extra money. Yes, it's worth the extra money. Here's the way it works. The adapter ring should be attached to the camera lens first. You can line it up with either a white or red dot depending if you're using EFS or an EF lens. After you do that, then you attach the adapter and the lens to the camera. That's pretty simple. So how do you decide which adapter to get? Should you get the adapter that does have the control ring, splurge a little, it's an extra hundred dollars, or should you save money and go without and just get the basic adapter? Yes, it's worth the extra money. It's not worth the extra money. So let's look at the big disadvantage as well as the advantages of using the adapter with the control ring. Of course, the big disadvantage, it's a hundred dollars more. The genuine Canon uh, adapter that does not have the control ring goes for $100 right now. That price may, may uh, decline as time goes on, but right now it's $100. And the adapter with the control ring is double the price, it's $200. So how do you justify the extra $100 if you don't need the functionality of the control ring? That's uh, pretty tough to do. But if you, you figure out uh, it's an, another $100 and you only use it for five years, that's only $20 a year for the benefits. So it's just a matter of personal preference and how big your budget is if you want to spend the extra 100 for the control ring. Now let's look at the big advantage of having the adapter with the control ring. Um, number one, it's just a real easy, convenient way to change any setting on your camera without taking your eye down and looking either for the, the dial or the, uh, any of the buttons. You just simply are looking through the camera and whatever you have it set for can be adjusted real easily. There are a couple YouTube video guys that are complaining that the uh, adapter ring is, or the control ring is hard to get to. I don't find that the case at all. When I learned how to hold a camera, it was just like this. And so my thumb and finger are naturally right there to make any adjustments. Uh, the big advantage is you can set it for anything you want. I started trying it with ISO adjustments, so it's real easy to look through the camera, change your ISO, uh, and you can see what camera settings are uh, adjusted. Um, and then I went to aperture priority, which is how I shoot most of my portraits, so it's real easy to adjust that on the fly as you're looking through. You can do shutter priority, uh, shutter, change shutter speed, um, and what I use now is for uh, exposure compensation. So it's really very convenient. It makes me feel like a, I'm shooting with an old time camera where I'm actually adjusting a setting on the lens. So it's real easy to adjust the settings. Turn the camera on, go into the menu, and then we have to find it. I believe it is the fourth one over, correct. Customize dials into that. And then you have the choice of adjusting that uh, flywheel there where the one on the top and here's the one for the uh, control ring so you hit enter and then here are the different settings that's the exposure compensation uh, the ISO um, shutter priority aperture priority and then all these other ones so if I was doing uh, exposure compensation just click that and it's all set certainly your shooting style is going to be different than mine your preferences are going to be different than mine I did try to make this video as quick as possible just to give you some ideas on what to think about, um, you know, whether it's worth it or not to spend the extra hundred dollars. But please leave a comment below this video. Let me know what your thoughts are, which way, you know, which direction you're thinking about heading uh, when you're looking at this adapter.